Okay, so the latest story that I've got for you guys is Morgan Spurlock, the Super Size Me director, dies at 53 years old. So if you haven't, if you haven't had the chance to see Super Size Me, I watched Super Size Me in middle school, and it was about Morgan, the director, eating McDonald's for 30 days straight, not working out, being sedentary, and just pigging out for every single meal eating McDonald's and seeing what would happen to his body after those 30 days. And to tell you the truth, he was in terrible shape as expected. He was in terrible shape. He gained about 25, 30 pounds and had multiple complications with his organs. But let's get into the story. Okay. So here it says, Morgan Spurlock, a documentary filmmaker who captures his own physiological and physical symptoms from eating McDonald's every day for a month in the Oscar nominated 2004 feature, Super Size Me, died Thursday in upstate New York due to complications of cancer. He was 53 years old. Spurlock's family confirmed his death. It was a sad day as we said goodbye to my brother Morgan says Craig Spurlock, who worked with his brother on several projects. Morgan gave so much through his art, ideas, and generosity. Today, the world has lost a true creative genius and a special man. I am so proud to have worked together with him, says his brother. That, that, that is really good, though. After his death, like his brother speaks so highly of him like that. That is true love right there. And I commend his brother. That is awesome. But Spurlock rose to prominence for Super Size Me, in which he conducted an experiment involving consuming only food from McDonald's for 30 days straight. The rules also included the sp stipulation that Spurlock could not refuse the Super Size Me option if prompted during the transaction. The filmmaker also exercised less to match the average American's physical activity. By the end of the experiment, Spurlock claimed that he gained 25 pounds and suffered from depression and liver dysfunction. So yeah, like what you eat, you really do become like McDonald's is super low vibrational food. So therefore it will lower your vibration. It'll mess with your blood. It'll mess with everything, every function in your body, your, your blood flow will be less. So you know what that means in the bedroom, right? Yeah. You're not getting it up. If you keep eating McDonald's, you keep eating low vibrational foods like that, it'll screw you up in more ways than one. He, he started to have mental issues from eating McDonald's for 30 days straight. I know people that eat McDonald's for breakfast every single day. Can you imagine that? I don't know if that's you, but I would suggest slow down, start your day with some veggies, you know, eat some fruits. You know, eat some eggs if you're balancing your diet, whatever you're, whatever you're doing for your diet. But McDonald's is literally the worst thing to start your day with. How you start your day will literally dictate how the rest of your day goes. You know, and you've got to cleanse in the morning. The morning time is the best time to cleanse. That's why they say breakfast is the, more, the most important meal of the day because that's when you're cleansing. You gotta make sure you cleanse all the impurities out with water. Water first. I actually drink hot water in the morning. I'll either drink hot water or hot tea, cleanse everything in my body, make sure the mucus is not you know, messing with me. And that's how I start my day, eat some fruits, eat some veggies. So let's keep getting into this story. Okay, so Super Size Me captured the zeitgeist when it released in 2004, grossing $22 million at the global box office and sparking a conversation about how the fast food industry encourages poor nutrition among the general public. McDonald's discontinued its supersize option in the time following its release. I wasn't in America when McDonald's had the supersize option, so I didn't even know about the supersize option like that. Okay, so though the doc is still utilized as an educational aid in some school health classes which is where i watched it middle school health class it has also sparked debate over its accuracy in the years since 
with some criticism citing Spurlock refusing to publicly share his diet log from filming, Spurlock later disclosed that he struggled with alcohol abuse, a factor that some consider could have been likely influence on the doc's conclusion regarding liver dysfunction. So yeah, if you add some alcohol in there on top of just eating McDonald's every single day for every single meal and eating the supersize option. So I'm pretty sure it must have been small you go to mcdonald's you ask for a small meal medium meal large meal and then there was the super size meals which was even bigger than the large so you add alcohol on top of that yeah you're bound to really get trashed so born november 7th 1970 in in parkersburg west virginia spurlock was raised under the methodist faith Though he identified as agnostic later in life, he graduated with a BFA in film from New York University in 1993. In the 13 years following Super Size Me, Spurlock gained, an Spurlock gained additional success under his production company Warrior Poets, producing and directing nearly 70 documentary films and television series. Spurlock's wide-ranging works were fueled by addressing controversial and topical subjects. His projects his projects covered issues including the U.S. war in Afghanistan, where in the world is Osama bin Laden, minimum wage and immigrant labor, 30 days, consumer susceptibility to marketing, the greatest movie ever sold, trophy, hunting and body modification, seven deadly sins, elder care and gambling, Morgan Spurlock, inside man, and corporate pressure on family farms, supersize me too holy chicken in december 2017 as the me too movement continued to gain traction spurlock wrote a lengthy social media post saying he was part of the problem in the post he admitted to serial infidelities and said he had settled an allegation of sexual harassment from a former assistant he also said he had been accused of grape in college the post effectively ended spurlock's documentary career as spurlock stepped down from the warrior poets shortly after Spurlock is survived by his two children, Lakin and Callan, mother, Phyllis Spurlock, father, Ben, and brother, Craig, and Barry, multiple nieces and nephews, and former spouses, Alexandra, Jameson, and Sarah Bernstein. Wild. Yeah, but, I mean, God bless him, wherever he is right now. And he gave us some great, great, great films. It's pretty cool that he did these experiments on himself just to show the world what can happen to you if you eat a certain way for 30 days straight, you know, let alone like, bro, there's there's literally people that have been eating like that for a year straight. Like you see how the average American looks. That's 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 tough, man. On top of like the loose regulations of food in america you know our food is nowhere near as healthy even if you go to a health store as food in europe this is a huge deal and imagine what they do to mcdonald's bro on top of it just being the way it is you have to mass produce it super fast like that and the loose regulations around food in america Bro, McDonald's is killing people. Like, I can't even deny that. It's killing people, bro. Like, why do you think cancer rates are so high in America? Cancer rates, obesity, all these all these harmful effects from the food that people eat in America. So, do I think that that McDonald's experiment had anything to do with his health declining that way it's possible you know the alcohol the mcdonald's whatever else he was doing that we didn't know about you know there's people that people there's things in people's lives that the masses will never know because these are just like things they keep to themselves so who knows man but rest in peace morgan spurlock and thank you for the super size me documentary that actually showed a lot of us in middle school what not to do.
you know thank you like comment subscribe it's your boy yan peace out